Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be taking a look at SCP-937, Walking Sticks. Now, don't let the name fool you, these aren't your ordinary walking sticks. Let's dive into the containment procedures and description of this intriguing SCP. SCP-937, commonly known as Walking Sticks, are contained at Site-92 in Melanesia. This site is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is strictly off-limits to the general public. Only designated Foundation personnel, including researchers and security staff, are permitted access. Any wild hives of SCP-937 are to be isolated and destroyed. SCP-937 also known as walking sticks, is a unique and intriguing species. It undergoes a fascinating transformation as it matures, developing flowers and fruit known as SCP-937-2. These fruit have an insectoid appearance, with a head, thorax, abdomen, and six legs, and can grow up to five centimeters in length. What is particularly interesting is that the flowers of SCP-937 are self-pollinating, unlike other fig trees. As SCP-937-2 specimens mature, they exhibit an anatomy that converges with that of insects, featuring a cellulose exoskeleton, spiracles, and heart analogs, but lacking a proper digestive tract. Additionally, they have leafy growths on their backs that resemble wings, which eventually harden into flattened wings of fibrous, papery tissue reminiscent of a maple seed's rotors. Once fully developed, SCP-937-2 detach themselves temporarily to walk around and attend to their parent tree. These creatures forage for plant and animal matter and use it to fertilize not only the roots of their host plant, but also those of any nearby instances of SCP-937. The different subtypes of SCP-937-2 fruit behave much like ants, with the parent SCP-937 serving as both hive and queen. Moreover, SCP-937-2 also exhibit aggressive behavior towards anything outside of their species, and are equipped with a sting that induces necrosis at the site very quickly. They are known to work together to overwhelm even small mammals, although the sting is not particularly dangerous to humans and can be avoided with proper precautions. Once ripe, SCP-937-2 climb as high as possible and glide to other trees, where they germinate as a normal hemiepiphyte. Over time, they extend roots to the ground and foliage upward, eventually surrounding and killing the trees they germinated on. This, combined with the aggressive nature of SCP-937-2, makes SCP-937 a particularly troublesome weed should the species manage to gain a foothold. On an unspecified date in 19, SCP-937, consisting of two specimens and 20 fertilized queens, were introduced to an established ecology in a large arboretum at, Redacted, in Melanesia. Three successful leafcutter ant colonies were founded and began to expand in the area. Both SCP-937 trees matured and bore fruit, leading to foraging activities. Initially, the two species coexisted without interaction until the leafcutter ants attempted to harvest leaves from one of the SCP-937 instances. This led to the emergence of new subtypes of SCP-937-2, which matured, and the SCP-937 hives collaborated to eradicate leafcutter colonies and aggressively colonize the area. After the weeks, the ant colonies were exterminated and much of the island's ecology was taken over by SCP-937. As a result, Dr. Senior Researcher for SCP-937, remotely ordered the destruction and incineration of the site until nothing viable remained. As a precaution, due to irregularities in soil samples at Site-92, data expunged, a quarantine for all botanical material is now in place at the site. Dr. 4 slash 937.